What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. This is not the beach, but look at how beautiful this place is. We got the river behind us and uh, I figured, I'm reading all the comments on the last video and there's some questions about what rod and reel and gear I'm using for fluke and how to catch fluke because I've been posting a lot of fluke videos. So while I'm up here enjoying the beautiful Adirondacks, I'm going to show you guys the rod and reel I use and you know, kind of give you guys some tips on what to choose for, for shore fishing or jetty fishing, pier fishing for fluke. This is my setups, let's go. All right, so I'm going to promise you guys that this is most likely the only fluking video you're ever gonna find next to a river in the Adirondacks with crankbaits set up on rods. So this is the thing, like we're up here in the Adirondacks, it's beautiful, I got a river right here full of trout. But obviously you can't keep a Long Island boy away from the salt water. So here we are, I have these rods with me. I'll tell you what these are, but as you can see, that's a freshwater crankbait and on here, um, this is also a rod that I use for freshwater for heavier stuff. But there's two things, is like these rods and reels are also good setups for freshwater. So if you want to take somebody freshwater fishing on the pond or if you add you uh, vacation up in the Adirondacks, Catskills, Lake George, whatever you might be going into, you can use these rods, save money on rod setups for freshwater and saltwater. So here are two of my favorite rods for shore fishing, jetty fishing, pier fishing for fluke right here. So I'll go over my basic one first. This is the one that I use all the time for whether it's, <clears throat> I guess you can say surf fishing, but also just fishing in general for fluke because one, you want a rod that's long enough to cast into the surf if you can use it in the surf, as opposed to having to use a nine foot or a 10 foot. And uh, it's very soft and super fun to play with. This is, as you can see, I, this is the rod I use in every single video. Go back, check them out. This is the 13 Fishing 7 foot 1 medium fast action and uh, it's a fantastic rod. You can see these videos, I'm not just saying this because of it's some rod, but I've been using these video, these rods in all of my videos for over the last year. You can literally count on that. And this is a Stratic, this is a Shimano Stratic 3000. I have paired on here 20 pound braid, I have another one with 15. I just have a 20 pound on there just in case something bigger like a, a larger striper or a blue fish or something like that goes onto a bucktail when I'm fishing for fluke. This is my really super fun setup. I think the rod itself was a $75 combo with a 13 fishing Creed reel. So if you can't afford a Shimano Stratic or whatnot, it comes with a reel. Uh, just, I just highly recommend that you don't dip it in the salt water and you clean it very, very often. But this is a seven foot one medium fast action and uh, it is it is fantastic. You feel everything and it is super, super fun. Now, why do I have this rod? This is a, a Tsunami Coastal Series Inshore uh, Airwave. So this is a seven foot, I believe, just as, oh, it's a 7.1 medium heavy. So this can go from 3 8 to one ounce. If I need to get out further into the, into the surf or get down deeper when I'm fishing a jetty or something like that, and I have to throw on a three quarter or a one ounce, I have this one, but mainly, I try to get away with even throwing the bigger ones on that uh, 13 fishing rod, but this is a, like I said, medium heavy and a Shimano Nasky 4000. It's got 20 pound braid on this too, but this is my rod to bring people fishing. You know, if they don't know how to fish or whatever, or they don't know how to fight fish, they don't know what, how to set the drag or change the drag, I have a bigger setup so they can keep fish pinned and be able to set the hook easier than on a softer rod. So, like I said, this is a seven foot Airwave um, inshore series, not the surf. This is the inshore series. I don't like the surf rods from, from Tsunami Airwaves. But I highly recommend this. And this is a Shimano Nasky. So this is a cheaper version of the Shimano Stratic. And this is, I believe, $100. So I think this is a 225 setup. And this, with that rod, is probably... I wanna say a $300 setup just because this reel is a lot more expensive. But I have both on here, Power Pro Braid, uh, 20 pound, and these are my two setups for fluking. I know I've gotten so many questions about it, so I'm here sitting next to a river telling you guys about fluking rods when I, when I wanna get into catching some trout on some ultralights. But that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed, and like I said, this is probably the only time you're gonna find a fluking rod from the Adirondacks. With that being said, you guys who are watching the channel very often, oh, this should be a little like sneak peek 
for what's to come. We got some really cool Adirondack footage coming for you guys. It's gonna be fun. And we just needed a little vacation. So here we are in the Adirondacks. If you're new to the channel, don't freak out. Uh, we got a lot more saltwater stuff coming. And uh, like I said, this is just a little vacation that we're doing in the Adirondacks. If you're new, hit that red subscribe button. If you haven't already, go check out more of the channel. Give this video a thumbs up because uh, we got more coming for you guys. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time.